Remember that our first response needs to be energy management. We want to focus on that AOA and get it right on the white line as soon as possible. That's going to give us our distance for altitude. Our second response is to pick a spot to land. We want to rock the plane left, right, look around, all around us, be aware of our surroundings, and pick the best scenario to land. The last thing is we want to make sure our gear matches the configuration for that kind of landing. So if we recognize that we're going to put it down on a lake, we want to make sure that gear is going to stay up. If we need to put it down in a field, we want to be ready to lower the gear when it's appropriate. So here's a situation where we're flying along and you can see that lake in the lower left. I'm going to pull the power back, simulate that engine loss. Notice I immediately go to my AOA and I hold that white line. Oh, there's a field over there too, but the lake is by far the better choice. For my altitude at about 1400 feet right now, I should have no problem making that lake. I may even need to slip it a little bit to come in closer to this side of the shoreline. So I'm going to continue my checklist now. I've done the first two parts. I've maintained awareness of my energy state, getting it onto that white line and keeping it there. I can trim it up to help myself. Second, I've picked the landing area. We know this lake is going to be the desired location. Third, I want to check my configuration of the gear. In this case, there's not going to be any changing it. I'm going to land on the lake, so I want to make sure that that gear is in the up position for a water landing.